Hi, it's Colleen Schmidt once again from Divination Counseling Service. I'm here today because I needed to do a follow-up on the full moon chart. I know that I generally don't want to overwhelm people and I'm always worried about how much time it's taking me. And I am a talker, so I don't want to make my videos too long, but I realized yesterday there were two very, very important things that I did not talk about. And I wanted to talk about them because they are headlines. And one of the things that I want to keep doing with these charts is pointing out what's obvious so that we can figure out for ourselves how to look at this information and read it so that we might determine what the headlines would be at any point in time. So I wanted to go back to the August 3rd chart because a couple of things came up. First of all, I want to start with something I already spoke about, but I don't think I went into enough detail. And that is the Zeus Mars, okay? I do fall back on, because I read a, for a lot of people, and when you're reading for people, more times than not, Zeus is not military or the gun. But it can be, oh no, it can be. If you ever look in the chart of some serial killers or some murderers, you're definitely going to be seeing some Zeus action, particularly if they are uh, mass murderers by way of automatic weapons or weaponry of any kind. Zeus is the military though, and I really needed to point this out because it's so obvious that there is going to be created from a military action, okay? And the interesting thing is, is that I don't even want to get into the fact that the military action is in and of itself enabling somebody to overstep their bounds, i.e. the federal government. And, um, he might be doing it, the president that is, out of pride, you know. It's interesting how I know his chart and he can tell us that he's all about law and order, but that shouldn't that start at home in your own being? But that's a whole other thing. I do feel, however, that this military action is something that is gonna create quite a ruckus. And it's interesting because I was reading my teacher, Martha Lang Westcott, and I've often mentioned her in my work. I was reading a newsletter that I get, and she was talking about how America is under siege right now. Now, she's not talking literally, okay? What she's referring to is the planets, in that we're going through a lot of different things at any one time, which is the reason why, as an astrologer, and in my efforts not to overwhelm you, I went to immediately the pandemic and the WAC, the a mask wearing, and how it's affecting our economy, especially America because Pluto happens to be a second house item in the United States chart. But that's not the whole story. And I think that the reason I wanted to come back today is because I felt so strongly that I had missed a valuable chapter of our story that I think is really relevant to the overall full moon and to everything else that we're going through as a people. Think of full moon also as a reflection. It is a, a, it is a retrospect, if you will, of all the things that are going on from the new moon. So as we go into this chart and we look at this anger because of a military action and the problems that it's going to cause because it's, uh, it is an aggressive action that is unnecessary. Understand that the only thing that was happening there was graffiti. That's really not a big deal and oftentimes they'll turn that into artwork later. So we already know there really wasn't any businesses damaged, not in the way that you and I are thinking about. So there's a lot, a lot of anger there, okay? And it's, a lot of it's because the, it started with the fact that we're being locked up. And that's, a, that's hard on people. But realize that this, what we're going through, this anger is about healing. Here we go again. And I know I said this about 30 times yesterday and I'm just gonna say it again. It is about our healing, all of this. It's all about us healing and our structures healing. So I, I really wanted to point that out. That was the first thing. The second thing that I wanna point out, and by the way, we know it's a military action. I, I wanna point out the Jupiter here can also be like a government type of a thing. I mean, it's expansion 
and all of that. But if you think about what that what they did was they brought in an expanded police force or an expanded army, and <clears throat> honestly, I don't think very appreciated by anyone who lives there. So moving into the next thing that I forgot to go over is the fact that Uranus so, so clearly forms a T-square to the sun and moon. Mm. So if we think of the sun and the moon as, again, remember that I talked about this yesterday, the struggle between wanting to be safe and secure, the moon, and the sun, which is more about getting out in the world and creating a, a status for ourselves, okay? And, you know, I, you know, one of the things that, you know, you get here with this pride, <laughs> got with before the fall, I like to think of it, especially as pride is still an aspect to um, Mars. But let me point out something else that that is. And here again, should have mentioned it yesterday, you didn't. This is also children. And I think, that the pressure of the government, this is Zeus, you know, we're going to open up the doors, we're going to do this, is going to cause a lot of anger as well. Justifiably so. I would be concerned as a parent and I would be doubly concerned as a teacher. So, especially since I did teach kids uh, dance and I remember every fall everybody's sick by October. So, they are germ spreaders. There's no two ways about that. And it's something to very much consider in a pandemic. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is, I said, this Uranus. And Uranus, as we know, is freedom and change. And we really want to be free. We really want our freedom. But how much of our freedom is putting us at risk? OK? And we did talk a little bit about, you know, um, on the dial I had pointed out, Aragon and the concepts of how, how, what actions are self-destructive and then how are we being self-destructive. And the interesting thing is that Uranus in square, forming a T-square to the sun and moon is really a twofold thing, okay? First of all, it is about change and we are changing. We cannot stop that. That is going to happen just like this pandemic is going to do the damage it's going to do because it is what it was here to do. So Uranus and Taurus, squaring both sun and moon, literally within a degree, is here to remind us that we are here to change, that ultimately if we get through this hurdle, this revolution, if you will, we will be in a better place. You know, I, I like to think of that uh, because um, Uranus is also a very humanitarian concept. And what we're doing right now, this whole oneness theme, is very much a part of uh, an Aquarian age, if you will. And here we are at the moon. And it's, it's tough for some people to change. It's tough, no matter how bad it was, this economy working 65 hours a week, just to be able to pay your mortgage. This bad situation, because this is all people knew, this is what they're concerned about. Oh no, we can't make it. And that is a sense that a person would have with a T-square, okay? T-square energy, however, is one of the strongest formulations of a planetary energies. With T-squares, with squares in general, there is an activity that is occurring, in this case, a real big activity because it's fixed signs, the sign of doing. So fixed signs are doers. They do. They, it's an action oriented in a completely different way. They, they do keep moving. And here you have this old versus new concept, this, but it's only, it's weirder because it's this, should we go out there or should we stay here? And that struggle is going to create a miracle. We have to believe it, but it will. This is what we're working on. We're working on changing and healing, especially realizing that there are things out of our control. So if we run into a system that we know is not working, this would be a good time to fix it. Because there are things that happen in life that are way beyond our controls. All of us, earthquakes, tsunamis, pandemics, so we, we have to be prepared for them. We have to look at that in the totality of the big picture, but we also have to look at it as humanitarians, which is, again, others and ourselves. It's we're one. We're all part of the same sharp here, people. <laughs> Some of us are just slower to understand that than others. 
and depending on where you are in life, depending on where your level of consciousness is, there is becoming an awakening, an, uh, an opening of our eyes and an understanding that we really need to fix these things and we need to heal. And Uranus squaring both sun and moon is really talking about that. And it's really helping us to discern and work on those things. So with that said, I'm now going to end it. Again, I could always go on and on with the chart, but this chapter two, as I'll call it, is really important because I really wanted to mention what was going on in the news and what's going on in Seattle, Portland is huge, huge, huge. And not since the, they went in and killed the four kids in Kent State have we had something like this. So yes, we've been through here this in history before when they went to Kent State and they killed four children. So, or young adults. So here we are again with an overreach by the federal government in what's supposed to be a democracy. Don't think that won't raise some flags because that's a Uranus hitting the T-square too, as well. So I don't think that is something we're ready to change or give up. As a matter of fact, I think that's something we're more welcoming and more embracing of now. And that is that all people need to be treated equally because we are all one, one planet, one humanity. With that, any questions, or if you're interested in private work, please contact me through divinationcounselingservice.org. But in the interim, please like, share, and get the word out that we can all do this kind of work. With that, I wish you all happy readings. Take care, and most of all, be safe.